All right. Now let us have a look at how a hammer confirms a prior support area. Now, in the previous video, we looked at how the hammer becomes a support or how the low of the hammer becomes support. Now here, we will look at how the hammer confirms a prior support area. So if a hammer is confirming prior support, it's an extremely bullish sign. Now let's look at an example. You will understand it better. So this is a weekly chart of Infosys. Now, when I say weekly, it means that one candle represents one week worth of price action. This is not a daily chart. Okay. So you have to carefully look at the time frame as well. So what happens when a hammer confirms support? Now, in this chart, you will look at the precision of candlesticks. Okay. Now, as a professional trader, you should be able to draw support lines and resistance lines okay in in this video i will teach you how to do that so in this case if you look at these three candles these three candles represent three weeks worth of price action so the lowest low of these three candles is this so i have drawn a support line here okay that's the purple dotted line now when the market comes here in these two weeks these two candles they tried to go below that that purple dotted line but couldn't do so it means that the bulls are sitting here the purple dotted line represents a support area and the support area is where the bulls are sitting it means that whenever the price price to come near the purple dotted line the bulls come charging back into the market and they push the price up okay similarly if you look at this this line or this line okay that is where the bears are sitting in the market so whenever the market tries to come near this line or near this line the bears come charging back into the market and they push the price down so i mentioned in one of the previous videos that the market is just a battle between the bulls and the bears and you can see that battle happening here okay there is a point where the bears are sitting and there is a point where the bulls are sitting. Okay. So we need to be able to draw these resistance. This is a resistance line. It's like a ceiling of a floor, ceiling of a room. And this is the floor of the room where the bulls are sitting to push the price up. Now in this video, we will look at how a hammer confirms a prior support area. Now these two candles are confirming this support area. Now what do I mean by confirming? Confirming simply means that none of these candles has been able to close below the purple dotted line. So when a candle closes below the purple dotted line, which means the closing price is below the purple dotted line, that means this purple dotted line support is broken. Okay. Now here it was not done. It was it didn't happen. Even here, these three weeks, it did not happen. The bulls were bulls came back here again into the market. If, if you look at this candle, okay, it has crossed but not closed. Now there is a difference between crossing and closing. This, this on this week, the bears have been able to successfully cross the purple dotted line but they have been unsuccessful in closing below the purple dotted line. See the closing is here. So that means this candle has confirmed this support or this candle has respected this support line. Okay. So this support line still holds and remember this is a weekly chart. So this is uh, November somewhere. So this is October. So probably this is November, December. Okay. F from November of 2016, till about September 2017 okay so this is September 2017 that's a very long period of time it's almost a year okay even after a year that purple dotted line is still respected look at the precision of Japanese candlesticks look at the power of Japanese candlesticks okay the the market has a memory and you have these candlestick patterns here which are respecting prior support so this is the hammer you see these are not candlestick patterns but if you look at this this is a classic hammer because it has no upper it has no upper shadow okay it has a very small real body near the upper end of the trading range now the downtrend is 
not as defined but if you look at the price from here till here it's a nice nicely defined downtrend uh, as shown by the blue blue arrow so i would be comfortable calling this as a hammer one point to note here is that even if the hammer comes after a short term down downtrend that is still fine so okay so this is a hammer according to me because the prices have been falling down since more than two years and suddenly you have the hammer which is confirming the prior support line confirming because it has crossed but it has not closed below the support line so whenever you have a clearly defined candlestick pattern which crosses but doesn't close below the prior support line that's a very very powerful uh, bullish sign okay so see what happens here in this case now the low of the hammer becomes the support area so if i if i take an entry point here and i keep my stop loss just under the low of the hammer these are my profits okay so this this goes to show how powerful the japanese candlestick patterns are especially if they are confirming prior western technical signals so this this support line and this resistance line these are called as western technical levels these are resistance and support lines so if an eastern technical signal which is the hammer is confirming a western technical signal which is the resistance and the support you have two confirmations so double confirmations gives you multiple profits so okay now in this case i wouldn't keep my stop loss below the purple dotted line because after the hammer you have a new support area right so i will keep my stop loss below that support area why would i keep it here because th that there is a tendency that it will get crossed so that is the reason why the candlestick pattern a clearly defined candlestick pattern coming out confirming any prior support area that too on a very high time frame it's a very powerful bullish sign and remember one thing that the higher the time frame the more is the probability that the market prices will go up okay or the more is the probability that the market will go in the direction that we anticipate okay so the higher the time frame the better okay